Uh, good morning. I'm James Burns, Executive Director of the Desert Caballeros Western Museum in Wickenburg, Arizona. Good morning, James. I'm Bonnie Adams Freeman, the curator of the Kenneth M. Freeman Legacy Collection, and I'm really happy to be here this morning uh, to say hello to you and to talk a little bit about the pieces that you have on loan from the, uh, from the Legacy Collection. We're thrilled to welcome you to Wickenburg and the museum and thrilled to have Ken's work included in the exhibition. Yes, we actually are um, celebrating our 50th anniversary uh, this year. We were founded in 1960 as the Maricopa County Historical Society. Um, and, and so the museum primarily had um, historical objects at that time. But um, the, the museum suffered a terrible tragedy. Four days before Christmas uh, 1972, it literally burned to the ground. And the only things that survived that fire were two Remington bronzes that uh, fell through the floor into the basement and were found in the rubble. And so this institution literally rose from rubble. And uh, it was a really a grassroots effort. The, um, the entire town rallied around the museum and helped raise money and helped gather artifacts. and. Um, we, we found a, an angel in um, Aiken Fisher, who uh, was the gentleman who provided the bulk of the initial art collection after uh, the museum was rebuilt. And uh, that's why we're sitting in the Aiken Fisher Gallery today. It's a beautiful gallery. And the name of the exhibition just tells me so much about what Ken was involved in. Mm -hmm. Uh, the name of this exhibition is Collecting the West, Rodeo Ranching Rough Stock, and um, this is a new venture for us. This is our inaugural year for Collecting the West. The exhibition will always be called that, but each year there'll be a colon and a theme uh, that follows afterwards. Mm -hmm. So um, this year uh, we decided to do Rodeo Ranching Rough Stock, and um, the, the, the goal was to combine fine art, historical objects, and art objects all in one exhibition space. So uh, revolving around a theme. The theme is the glue that holds it together. Uh, because this museum has a dual mission of history and art of the American West. And so um, we were trying to tie that together a little bit better. Um, I always say that this museum has real opportunities to build bridges. Um, history and art are somewhat left brain, right brain types of things, but I think there are ways to combine those two. And, um, you know, I, I like to think that when visitors peek inside the door to this exhibition, um, that maybe when they see the shaps and the woolies and the saddles, that um, they feel a little bit more uh, welcome and at home and like the art really is accessible because Western art really is, thanks to its subject matter, pretty darn accessible. It is. It's very friendly. <laughs> uh, Ken was quite a cowboy, so I, I know he's really happy. His spirit is really happy being here. Um, I, was, I was curious why you chose the pieces that you chose from the collection, because uh, these are some of Ken's favorite rodeo mm -hmm. paintings. Well, I'm familiar with Ken's work um, for at least the last 10 years or so. Um, I cut my teeth on Western art at the Booth Western Art Museum where I was the founding curator and uh, my background as an, as an academic is in the social and cultural history of the 20th century West primarily. Um, so I've long been aware of, of Ken's work and um, know his reputation as the Rembrandt of the rodeo mm -hmm. and so he was one of the first artists that came to mind when we started thinking about this exhibition. Um, it, this, this came together um, amazingly quickly and um, we were just thrilled that we were able to include some of his work. I particularly was interested in the rodeo pieces, not knowing that they were his, his favorites. I, I sort of think, I, I think of that as his signature. I mean, I know he was a very um, talented uh, at drawing and sculpting as well, but I really know him for his, his rodeo pieces. And whenever I talk about the pieces in this exhibit, I always talk about the, the rodeo posters and his legacy with the Parada del Sol and other rodeos. And so that's why I wanted to um, include pieces that I thought were so iconic um, and really best represented him. 
and um, they just happened to be my favorites too when I was <laughs> looking through the, the, what was available. One of my favorite out of the four that are here today is Tough Draw. This was the uh, lead image for the premier exhibition artists at work at the booth and it tells an awful lot about the rodeo. This, this gentleman has just drawn I, I don't know if you know what they do, but you're like, you know Western, so you do. Uh, the, uh, you, you draw for your, for your bronc, mm -hmm. and he's just drawn the meanest bronc on the menu for today. <laughs> so he's contemplating not only winning, but staying alive. I think I chose, I, I had actually forgotten that this piece w was um, the signature piece in that exhibition. Um, I probably chose the ones that I did because I love that um, these pieces in particular, that behind the scenes view, um, that you know the, the, the visitor gets the sense that they're getting to see something that not everybody gets to see. And that's what I love so much about these four pieces in particular. That, that's what's so appealing that you know that uh, you get to see something that you wouldn't get to every day, even if you went to the rodeo. Oh no, you're absolutely right. And, and he did. He went in behind and uh, I was privileged to go with him several times as a photographer. I, I got to go in behind and photograph some of it too. And the cowboys just loved him. I mean, they, uh, they often posed for him, even though they were getting ready. You know, they would, he'd say, can you do that again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, they were very happy to be painted. Many of the models have come forward and said, you know, we really enjoyed working with Ken. He was just such a, a good down-to-earth cowboy, and, and he represented us in our true passion. Mm -hmm. They enjoyed being painted by him. I couldn't imagine not including Ken in this exhibition because um, I, I especially was trying this first year to um, get a lot of work from Arizona, especially Arizona artists, um, also some New Mexico. And I, I just really like when you look at the whole body here. Was this piece uh, from the Parada del Sol? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that's really fun because this is juxtaposed across the room from a, a piece by Billy Shank that was also done at the Parada del Sol. Yes. So, um, yeah, that, that's really nice. And as, as well as some, um, some other work that I think it fits in with very nicely. What I like about um, the positioning of Ken's work in this exhibition is it serves as a bridge between um, the very um, the traditional work that is uh, still being created by the Cowboy Artists of America. And we have some of that in this exhibition. We have some pieces by Bill Owen. Um, in fact, we're going to be including another piece that we just purchased from this year's Cowboy Artists of America exhibit. Um, but uh, then, you know, Ken's work fits somewhere in between that and the newer work being created by artists like Billy Schenk and Howard Post, Michael Swearingen, Paul Verberg, who we have a pretty good representation in here as well. Um, so. He'd be happy being a bridge. <laughs> he was always, he, he was always uh, very uh, supportive of other artists and of the development of art. And he was always very, uh, he's very particular when he paints. He's got to be accurate and um, you got to know your subject matter. And uh, a bridge that he would have created would be to take the fine art idea but really make sure that it represented what it was supposed to represent. So he spent a lot of time on horseback, and uh -huh. he went on the cattle drives, and he lived with the Native Americans, and he, he, he lived the lifestyle of everything that he painted. So he really knew how to paint the path. And I think that's why his work is so appealing to our, particularly to our membership. Um, I, we even have, you know, we're not called Arizona's most Western museum for nothing. And even a lot of our trustees and donors um, spend an awful lot of time on horseback. Yes. Um, so they can appreciate, in fact, I, I ha have uh, several uh, trustees who all just came back from the NFR. So they, they love Ken's work. Um, and, and that's why I wanted to make sure that um, it was well represented 
here. There, there is a lot more. There's a lot more rodeo pictures. The, the website is an excellent resource uh -huh. for checking out further uh, genre that Ken painted uh, rodeo. He did a lot of paddle drives uh -huh. and working cowboys. Uh -huh. And uh, so if you uh, go to www.kennethenfreeman.com, there's a whole gallery in there of everything other than just rodeo that he painted. Uh -huh. And he painted uh, cowboys, uh, portraits of cowboys as well. Yes, That's portraits, right. portraits. Ken was a portrait painter. It didn't matter if he was painting a cowboy or he was painting a cow or he was painting a small child. He was a portrait painter. Uh -huh. And I think that shows especially in, in this work. Um, I love that one, the, the, probably the most of any that I've seen. Well, thank you very much for showing Ken in such a wonderful facility and sharing him with a lot of people who really appreciate it. You're welcome, Bonnie. Thank you.